Hard to believe summer wrapping up this Labor Day weekend, but the temperature around here will be record high. The hottest August on record. First we had that, now we're going to expect the hottest Labor Day weekend ever. A heat advisory has even been issued for the next several days, and then smoke expected to pour right back into our area from all the wildfires that are burning. Our Lisa Balick is live in southwest Portland with more details. Hope you're staying cool, Lisa. Well, today anyway, but it's a very serious situation with this smoke and the heat wrapping around us starting tomorrow. It will be here for several days. It could be the hottest first week of September ever in Oregon. And firefighters tell me there's a greater worry beyond fire danger. I think it's going to be medical stuff related to the heat. So people not hydrating enough. Um, so we're going to get a lot, a lot of heat exhaustion, I think. Um, maybe even some heat stroke, which as you know is a lot more serious. Too much beer, not enough water is common on this last long holiday weekend of summer. Now we've also got the thick smoke from the wildfires headed back here this weekend. Small bits of ash that lodge in your lungs. It's why people who have breathing difficulties, such as seniors and little ones, should stay inside. But it's tough to do that with windows shut if you're without air conditioning. We asked some working in the heat how they'll cope. Drink Gatorade and water and uh, shut down and pour. You can find places to get a little outdoor cool air. Up by Mount Hood, any of those rivers up there, the Hood River, the Salmon River, and dip in, or just go to the Alpine uh, Sky Chair and go up in the clean, fresh air. If you're heading for indoor air conditioned spots, take a look at what we found at Ruby Jewel Ice Cream. No waiting. Last time it was really hot. We didn't have anyone in here. It was too hot for people to go out. And it was also really ashy, so it's hard to say. Some organizers of outdoor events are meeting to decide whether to cancel them or change the time. You should check before you go. In spite of the heat and smoke, though, there are still a lot of people who don't want to head indoors just yet. You know, you got to take advantage of the summer weather while you can, uh, especially with how much it rains around Portland. You know, you got to take advantage of the sun and the, and the heat while it's out. <laughs> now, also remember, it was back in January. We had weeks and weeks of snow. This is all within the same year. It's been a pretty crazy weather year, no question about it. Meanwhile, schools are trying to figure out what they're going to do for kids if this heat and smoke continues into next week with triple digits. We'll have more on that coming up in our newscast. Live in southwest Portland, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News. It's certainly